I'm Nancy Luke. I'm an associate professor of sociology and demography. What many people don't realize is most studies of social mobility concentrate on men. Why is it that women are invisible in these studies? One answer could be that many researchers simply assume that what operates for men and their mobility is the same for women. A second reason could be is it's difficult to measure women's income and their occupational changes when many women aren't working. We should be looking at women's labor force participation itself as a key aspect of social mobility. In many countries, women's labor force participation is exceedingly low, much lower than we would expect for the level of development, for the level of education that women are attaining. Recent studies in economics have shown that gender attitudes are transmitted intergenerationally, just like we think of social mobility. What if it is the case that gender attitudes are a key determinant of whether women work or don't work in developing countries. What can we do about it? Some people will argue that gender attitudes are hard to change. I argue that they can be changed. And an example is the contraceptive revolution we've seen worldwide. 50 years ago, when the world was worried about rapid population growth, contraceptives were distributed to women and couples worldwide, but they didn't use them. What needed to be done was to get underneath and change people's attitudes to contraception. And if we can do the same thing with gender attitudes within families and communities, that can impact women's labor force participation now and in the future. What UNI Water can do to set the agenda to inspire research that can help us understand this complex issue.